are traditional art forms. How can we make them care about classical music? How can we make them care about, care about opera? All of that stuff and the Korean minister. How can we make them care about Korean performance, the old Revamp. stuff? Revamp. What? Revamp. Revamp. So here is, this was my idea. To trick it up, not just to seduce young people to come to it and say, oh man, this is cool, they're tricking it up and doing it, but to integrate, and if, and if these live art forms don't exist in your minds and your desire, they die. There's like 40 languages that die a year. If, if you don't dig opera, it will die. And it should die, is my opinion. It all should die if you don't care about it. And this is one of our attempts to make you guys care about it again. Evan, what? Opera. Do you see opera? No. Why? You don't care about it, right? I like it. You don't like it. You don't care about it. It's like my thing with the Korean minister of culture. He said, take this eunuch dance from the year 570 that's been in the court. How can we make young people care? Indian dance. South Indian dance has been around for 3,000 years or something like that. We talked to Raul, we talked about the Ramayana, all these important literary forms. If we don't big them up, they die. Patrick, should they die? Should classical music, should Mozart die? Finally. No. Who said that? No. Why not? Because it's awesome. Yes. Awesome. So if you understood a little bit more about music theory and so forth, it could continue. That's why you're at the university, right? That's heavy metal. It is heavy metal. And Mozart was cool and died at the year, died at 32, you know? You might appreciate it different if you understand theory, but it doesn't mean you understand. Right. It's difficult. Some of these art forms are incredibly difficult. And they're not like MTV where you can just look at Christina Aguilera dance and say, oh yeah, I get it. It's like, it's complex, complex structures. David, what did the robot have to do with art and tech? Listen up. We'll hold by. Then we will have a five minute break. No one leave. Kevin is bolting the door and watching the guard thing. You come back to see everyone's dog and pony show about what they did with this stuff, and then we're done, okay? No one bolt. You can go to the bathroom, and we'll take a five minute break, and we'll do that. David! Listen up! Listen up! Hard time. Like a little perspective So given our druthers, we would have like hooked Rovio up. We did it before a game. Remember at Wang? We hooked Rovio up to the projector and whatever this thing, looking up their legs and pants or whatever, whatever Rovio saw, we could see on a screen. So David, why don't we just have robots perform our Shakespeare? We could do that. You can have a bunch of do it. It's and and real life. Eric, what weigh in? I wrote a blog about Rovio and Juliet. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Good for Ira. There we go. <laughs> Is there a future with the body, Alex? Come 